one week, one week before we tip, all right? Every moment we're together, we have to make the most of it, all right? There's no, no wasted seconds, no wasted minutes. Ton of energy. Am I giving energy? Either giving it or taking it. We gotta be energy givers. Work, work, work. Let's go, D, let's go, D. Have a great day, kiddo. We had an outstanding weekend of practice and then we get shut down two days later. It's just, that's how the season's gonna be. It's gonna be a roller coaster. You just have to try to control what you can control uh, and stay ready. That's just been a real theme to this year of just being in the present. You know, I think we are also guilty of, you know, looking what, what lies ahead instead of just say, hey, we're so thankful that we can walk down and, and have practice. That's something we're not allowed to do right now uh, because of COVID, again. We can't afford to have off days at practice. We have to be on every single day because our days together are limited. That part was really hard too, just the uncertainty of it all. You know, as a coach, it's really hard to try and connect with the new people on the team and then also keep connecting with the players on your team. It's just hard because you know like half your team is gonna be out or like your full team or in half your coaching staff and like just being able to stay focused and on what you can control is hard sometimes because this is out of our control. Like we're playing basketball in a pandemic. You just have to remember to stay positive and to control what you can control. And sometimes that's really hard. Perfect footwork, hold your follow through. Perfect footwork, sprint up DJ, feet, feet, hold it. A lot of new faces. Um, but it's a good group, it's a pretty mature group, even though we are pretty young, we're very young and very inexperienced. They're younger, they just gotta go through the fires and learn what it takes to win consistently at the Division One. It's hard, and this league is really tough. So if you're not dialed in every night, there's not a, there's not a gimme, there's not a layup on any, on any night. If the team reaches the level of maturity, professionalism, toughness that we're hoping we can get them to, then you'll see a team that whoever is available that night competes the way that we want them to compete. And so certainly fans should be excited to see our new guys. They should be excited to see how our returners have developed and how much better they've gotten. But most importantly, hopefully excited that that Redbird uniform is being represented the right way. Well, I think our guard play is going to be our strength. Obviously, our frontline players are still developing and they've shown tremendous growth. The thing I love about our team, we have a little bit more size than we had last year. We've got some good athleticism and length. I think we got some key guys that can be locked down defenders, which you need. But um, that's always where it's going to be to start for me, is do you have the toughness and the pride to be legit defenders on a nightly basis? It's always start defensively for me, always. Um, and this year will be no different because I like guys that are tough. I want guys that stick their nose in it, guys that compete. Uh, guys that get up right when they're hurt. We've got some of those guys and we're trying to develop the other ones. Offensively, I think you're gonna see with this group, more guys that can make plays, more guys that can do things, some things off the dribble. Well, we have a lot of good newcomers that's coming in. Um, excited about all of them, of course. Um, the ones that kind of stick out, Josiah Strong. He's, he's someone that I think you can, right now, in the way he's grasped and everything, um, he's someone that can come in and get some healthy minutes for us and really produce for us on, the, you know, what we need to have production and be successful and get some wins. I would say kind of just as a team as a whole, since I kind of got here, it's been, we have a lot of talented guys, a lot of youth, but at the same time, a lot of guys who definitely, when we gel together, we could definitely do some special things. DJ's obviously really good on the ball, off the ball, tone to play probably the one through three and uh, he's a really good shooter scorer uh, Dusan he's also from a junior college we actually played them in Juco uh, he definitely could be a force down low Dusan uh, gives us a presence as well good rebounder um, we're gonna need that as well for, for this year but he's gonna be a good part he can shoot a little bit as well get his jumper together just coming in as you know playing freshman it's just you know, really taught us a lot. Really taught us, you know, coming from the seniors as well, it taught us, you know, what we should be doing on the floor and how to help the team win. So we just gained off of that, you know, stay in the gym every day and, you know, be able to 
to produce for the team. Oh yeah, me and Tony, you know, Tony, my boy, um, you know, just being that we were out there together on the court as freshmen, you know, we built a lot of chemistry. So coming into this year, the team is looking at us to, you know, provide and be the, those kind of leaders coming back from last year. We got a lot of pressure this year, but, you know, I feel like that experience and being out there, you know, put us in the right position. Um, yeah, we got not a lot of uh, good new pieces in this year, um, a lot of young guys. I feel like Josiah Strong would be a good addition for us uh, as far as like our lack of scoring that we lost from last year. Side Chapman, I feel like he'll be a good uh, inside presence for us this year, something, which is something we also lacked last year. Um, you know, we got a lot of good freshmen too. I feel like all of our freshmen are good, so they'll be able to help us in, in all kinds of different ways. Since we opened in 1936, AFNI has proudly called Bloomington Normal home. And for over 20 years, we've supported the Redbirds as the official sponsor of the ISU Athletic Honor Roll. As we grow and expand our business, we'll continue to back the birds on the court and in the classroom. You know, Chris and I really bonded over, um, you know, visiting our grandfather. Our grandfather was a legendary um, coach, multiple sports, um, but primarily college baseball. He was the most winningest baseball coach in college baseball history when he retired. Anytime I was in the area, Chris and I would get together for lunch and we would go over and, and just spend hours with grandpa. I've known Scott all his life. I know the coach his father was. I know, you know, the coach my grandfather was. And I think our morals and why we coach are in step with one another. It was really cool to bond with Kristen over that. And it's funny now working for her and having been around my grandfather for so long, um, when she talks to recruits, when she talks to our team, you can see, you know, part of his greatness um, comes out through her. You know, we have the same, we have the same hero in our, in our grandpa Gordy. I know I'll never be half the coach my grandfather was, but I think Scott would probably say the same thing, but we hope we have a similar impact on our players' lives. I know our freshmen, um, Kate and Jazz, have been putting in a lot of work just to understand the system and be ready to play once the time comes. You mentioned Tarion, like she's such a dynamic scorer and she plays on both sides of the ball. Like Dee just works so incredibly hard. And I, you can say that about all our newcomers, Jazz and Kate, they all want to contribute and want to work hard and that's awesome to see. There's still some things I have to learn, things I have to adjust to, but I feel like as a whole post where we're getting there, we're most definitely gonna make a big adjustments to big moves. We have so many, like, so much versatile players that can do different spots. Uh, Deanna Wilson, um, she's a post player that plays extremely hard. She sprints the floor, she defends, she rebounds. I'm really excited to see what she can do for us this year as well. D, I think she's gonna come in, she's gonna help us a lot in the post. Uh, again, you and Paige and Mary. I think everybody is going to play a, a real good role in our success in scoring. She's been to the, through the NCAA tournament. She's won conference championships. So we look to her for so many things, like her leadership, um, her experience when it comes to the NCAA winning championships. And she's proven that already in practice. Juju's obviously played a huge role last year. I think that she knows that a lot of the offensive standpoint, like load is going to be on her this year. Um, and I think that she's ready for that. I think every game is gonna be an absolute war and it's gonna be great basketball. I'm excited about our league this year. We're bigger than we've been in a long time. And we've got five guys returning, four of which started games and finished games last year, so they've got enough experience to lean on. And uh, I think it's gonna be another great year for the league.